Hello, and welcome back to our playthrough of Lost Kingdoms 2. Would you believe it was only last week that I made the last episode? It wasn't an entire year ago. Um, as it happens, it has been quite a while. What a weird year. Uh, I haven't used the whole year to grind in this game, but I have done quite a bit of grinding to get some new cards. Um, both by going to the Sacred Battle Arena and killing the Lich, about a hundred times using Banshees so my whole deck levels up. Uh, but also, uh, getting some more of the Red Fairies so that, uh, well, I can get some of the new cards from Jarvi. Now, we have a mission here, which is to go and locate the God of Destruction card. Now, I need to go over here. I think I'm about to be attacked by some sort of scary boss monster. Good job, Demon Skeleton. Earn your pay. I don't pay these. I really should pay the skeleton to help them. Um, but, uh, yeah, just go and collect in here. There's nothing bad that could happen. And I certainly don't need a huge bodyguard. Um, we have got a decoy golem attacking us, and so I've been spending some time leveling up the big elemental dragons, such as that one, which I've never actually had hit a monster. It seems to have one of the most effective hitboxes in the game. Uh, he's going to pop up behind me, but the skeleton should spot him. Kills him easily. Um, so yeah, we just come in here. It's quite a short level overall. There's one very big guy over here. Big rotating card. And that is the sacred treasure of the royal family. Of course, I'm going to stop to rob the bank first because um, I need some money. But I've now got a god of destruction and that ends the level! So thank you for watching this episode of Lost Kingdoms 2! I'm just joking. Um, of course, that's not the only thing I give you. Um, we just now need to put it in our deck, and then we can actually start to invade the castle. So, you'll notice I've actually put in some more neutral types, of which I've got quite a few new ones, including the Psycho Dice. Very fun card. Uh, but I've now got my God card, which is story mode only. Way too powerful to use in versus mode, apparently. Uh, of course it's not, but uh, they want you to think that. So, all I'm going to do is just run back through this level. Uh, you'll hear the sound of some mechs uh, beginning to wind up. So, as is tradition, just throw out uh, some elves to help protect us. I've upgraded the Birdman into the Garuda, a much stronger card. So, this is the Necromancer. It's pretty cool. It does this. Distract this guy. Down, maybe. And I've also got the Spartan, who are the so Dragon Tooth Warriors from the uh, Ancient World Myth. The ones that uh, Medea summons uh, during Jason and the Argonauts, if you've uh, read or perhaps seen the really old film. Uh, this, uh, these Spartoi are going to be very useful when we go to the optional level only on its gorge. So, moving through the level, uh, Sacknet's a bit too powerful for me at the moment. Just ignore the, uh, bay. No need to, uh, get all aggro on it. 
And this guy, he's going to follow me. Sparta uh, do actually ignore defense, I think, but they have quite a low attack. They're basically like a uh, dark raid. They also do this quite a lot, which I prefer they can do. It. Of course, mechs being particularly strong in the defense attributes, they take quite a few hits to kill. Now, I have just realized I probably could have just gone straight to uh, Castle Lower. Uh, but how well? You're just getting you're just getting to see more of the level. So that's that's through a longer castle. Let's let's just casually walk through the grounds. Uh, I'm gonna pretend that I went to the right level. Maybe I'll even edit this out. Maybe none of it happens. I don't know. Soul looking handsome in the background. Here we go. This is where I'm supposed to be. You'll notice I have quite a few big dragons in my deck now. Uh, they actually do combine. Uh, you can actually use them all in all in one turn. But for what we want to do, we want to finally judge. This is the god of destruction. Spoiler alert, he's the boss of the first game. Uh, but we capture him. And now he is as. And look, oh, look, all elemental things are set to one health, which is exactly what we needed to do to get in. Incredible how that happens. So at this point, we basically just explore that, we ignore uh, some of the scarier monsters. Uh, you will notice that you can actually. Uh, fully explore this area now. We've got um, we've got the ability to use our cards, so things like flight can now actually be accessed, uh, which is going to be helpful because we want to fly across a chasm here. There's a fairly buried sunlight here. Here we go. Notice how much better the flight capabilities of this thing are. Look, that's actually like smooth. It doesn't give you motion sickness. I love it. So we get a quick Puppet Master card. Explore some of these. Hopefully there's some magic stones. Nice. Need that. Go collect the Red Fairy. Tells you a combo that uh, you probably shouldn't actually try, even though everyone's doing it, because it's just simply not very good. Spartoy, go! That's totally not worth their charging. Yeah, you okay? Just gonna chill? Just gonna chill? Okay, we, 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 we broke that. Most of these aggressors, they, they're just, yeah, they're just trying to do their job. Okay. Ignore this thing. It doesn't know what I'm here. Thank you, Duarte, for being absolutely broken. As we go up this castle, you'll notice it's quite a bit more damaged than it was before. Uh, there are no more robots up here since we killed them, but we do get to return and hopefully. <gasps> Sol! No! Thank goodness, he's still alive. I wonder how that happened. There we go. That is the mission end for sieging the castle for the first bit. We get two tri blasters. Wow, that's useless. Of course, we actually do need to try and besiege the tower a little bit more. So we're actually going to go to the royal tower middle. Uh, this one can be quite a long, tough level if you haven't played the game before. Um, 
you have quite a lot of um, jobs to do here. Because if you see, we have a cutscene. Featuring Lord Fancy Pants. He's doing the normal Kandari hobby of hiding. Once again, uh, the voice acting is the main appeal of this game. Uh, Leod screaming, ah, you can't have my soul yet, is basically my phone ringtone. Now, as you enter this room, uh, there's a familiar thing that happens. Oh no! I'm under attack! Oh no, stop hopping at me, stop hopping. No. I'm gonna try a lucky damage. This is the psycho dice. What it does is random. Don't roll a one. I rolled a one. I now no longer have any mana. Thank you, psycho dice. I sure love RNG. Right, Dark Elf, you're gonna have to help me out here. I'm out of mana. I need someone who won't just die to this thing. Look at the Dark Elf go. Quick lit. Gonna finish this off. Fine. And although I could keep the Dark Elf around, I'm trying to get better at not just relying on the same card. Now, here we fish through our deck for a little bit. Have a very specific card to find, which is of course the Dewata. Now I've said I'm trying not to uh, cheese it too much, but I do need it to spin and flail rapidly so I can get through this board. What have I done to the Tawata? Oh man! Anyway, I'm going to stop flailing now. And instead, claim this. The Hydra. Hydra, really cool water summon. So, we continue on. Uh, you'll notice a theme. I've pulled a switch, and if you have a look at the uh, weird contraption, the colours of it have now changed. I've turned off one of the elemental points. It stops the god of destruction from harming our lovely king. Collect a quick red fairy, discard the Dewata, and then see what the next room has in store for us. It is, in fact, the Demon Hound. Now, the Demon Hound is pretty tough. Those fireballs are long range, they home. He's pretty nimble. Everything he does is a knockdown, so you have to sort of avoid him. Give him a bit of the old choppy chop from the uh, Dragon Knight. Flee the fireballs. Another choppy chop. And then a quick Spartoy. Shit. Close to finishing him off. So, there we go. It's a little bit like the Sacred Battle Arena, the fact that we kill the Guardians and then we get some bonuses. I'm actually going to collect these Blue Fairies just for safety, uh, because there's quite a few enemies on this floor. Quite a few treasure chests, but also quite a few mech units. These are the actually good aggressor units, the ones that can run fast. So, because they have such absurdly high health and defense, we probably want to ignore them if we can. We're using traditional FromSoft technology, where doors take ages to open and sometimes make them invincible. These ones don't, but they could. In Dark Souls, this is the. The Elzebub, 
who you can actually get. Nowhere near as cool as this guy uh, when you get him on your side, as is tradition. He can't actually attack. So we're going to hit him with a bit of the Whirling Blade here, because he's probably going to try and dodge. Dawson, you're quite vulnerable after using the Jade Giant. Uh, using some of the weapons, and then hit the control point. Meaning we only have one more left to turn off. There's a gigantic monster up there. Oh wait, there's two more wards. I could have sworn. There were only uh, four wards on this level. Here we have the Behemoth. Oh yes, of course there is, because there's um, Fenrir, who we have to kill as well. Who is really, really cool. You know what? I'm going to summon Baromats, which I don't think I ever have before. Look at that. This is a super rare card. You can literally only obtain it from, uh, from the... Uh, gate level where you try and get through the ground. Unlike the Behemoth, because you can just follow him around like this. If you just, you know, oh, oh no, he is actually quite stompy. Oh well, he's a perfect target for us to Earth Dragon. So he does not move fast and he's a big target, so that rush does not miss. We activate this, and then of course, see here we have got a wall wall. Now traditionally you try and destroy this using uh, the stone loader. So we might have to come back or else find one of the transform pads. As you can see it didn't work. So we go to our last room. There's the transform pad here which makes you very glad that you don't use the iron, you don't use the stone golem. Now this guy, you want to just bash him down quickly, because he can and will just wreck you. So what we're going to do here is try and hit him with a bit of the Earthbreaker. Seem to remember Fire Breath hit once, he's also a bit janky. And that kills the Fenrir. Fenrir is actually a really good one, because um, he powers up Earth units. At least he debuffs fire units, I seem to remember. Haven't used them for quite a while. You'll notice all of the wards are down, which is great. Um, don't laugh at me. This really helps. This really helps. This is such a weird monster. What? It didn't last? I feel like that should have lasted. I might have to come back with uh, the stone golem or something like that. But for now, let's go back and bully uh, King Leon. You'll notice I've actually leveled up fire now that I have a few cards that are actually good. You know what? I'm gonna get a cheeky heal can't hurt when we're going against the King of Kendaria and a Mech Master who actually has a unique weapon. You know what? I can't outrun it. Here we go. I can't hide. But wait. Yes, it just might work. With a runestone, I could imprison it. Your true master, my little runestone bandit. So he is, uh, as you can see, trying to intimidate me by throwing down a toilet. Whereas I am just going to get my elf to just throw loads of daggers at him. 
And of course, the Dao, as is tradition, misses entirely. I'm just going to try and blast him with the Twin Flash here. Gemini, previously not really worth using, because, of course, the uh, mana push is so high. Wow, really is garbage. I have to remove the Dao from my deck now, I think. So, thank you, Elf Lord. I apologise for you dying there, but you did take a you did take a good couple of hits. He actually didn't use his uh, ultimate mech weapon, which was a bit disappointing. Maybe we'll get to see it in action in some other way. Just going to quickly go grab these treasure chests. We get the unicorn, which is actually a much better jump. Well, not much better than the Hellhound but a different option for jump in the Hellhound, but also has good vertical height on it. We finish the level. Still haven't worked out how you get uh, three stars on these. We get the Elzebub, and we get the Aggressor DX5, which are pretty good pulls. And that is going to conclude our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed revisiting Lost Kingdoms 2 as a launcher with me. Uh, I am going to try and upload more than once every year from now on, though I make no guarantees. So, I've been Sister Slizzards, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time where we actually go to Obionics Gorge before the final boss.